Hello friends, myself Meenal Bhagat from Ekin. Today I am going to talk about something very interesting that is what is so interesting in Android 11. So as you see behind me there is a 75 inch panel. In this panel this is the home screen which as you can see. Now in this home screen we have different different facilities which are already given on the screen itself like it has a browser, office, file manager, whiteboard, resources, multi-screen if I want to have more apps in case I want to have more apps to be downloaded in Android and this is my settings. Now another important factor is as you can see there is another screen over here which is OPS. So if I click on OPS immediately I am shifting myself from Android to OPS. So without much hassle or even selecting any icons I am just shifting OPS at the first screen. So ease of use is very high over here. Another very important ease of use as you can see is if I click my below icon you can see there is a shortcut key available here. Now things like I want to take a screenshot so then all I need to do is just click here. I want to annotate, I want a whiteboard backlit, I want to increase or decrease the volume, I want to actually attach a camera, I want to go to the settings. So everything has a shortcut key which is already available over here. So that becomes and makes it very very easy for a person who wants to write on the interactive panel. All they need to do is just do a flip like this and you can select and you can start working without even looking for the icon or anywhere on the side. Let me just give you a quick brief on the whiteboard features. Now when I talk about the whiteboard features, I am not elaborating it in this video. All I am going to tell you is the most important thing which is the difference which I am going to show you is that is the tool which is here. As you must have seen that in this there is a toolbar. In this toolbar features like ruler, protector, triangle, curtain, timer, we are talking about calendar, we are talking about split screens, we are talking about cameras, all have features have been incorporated into this. Akin Android 9 also has a lot of these features but Android 11 has a little advanced features. So more or less if you ask me about Akin Android 11, this is the most interesting part which you can really see and feel. Now when you see the below icons over here in Android 11, you can also see it's similar to like the shapes and the size which I think you are all aware of. It's touch. So in case now interesting part is if I want a single touch, it is a single touch even if I move with two hands, I am only talking about single touch but if I do a multi touch and if I do lines from two hands, you can see it becomes multi touch. So this is how the major difference is Android 11. I am sure this, these features could be of very interest to you. Once again coming back with you on a detailed version of Android 11 also. See you again and if you have liked my channel, I request you to subscribe to our channel as you can see below. And I would also request you if you like my video, do send in all your likes and more requests so that we can create more good videos for you. Once again, thank you.